I hope you're having a good day. Today we're looking at the Lilliput FS5. It is a 5.4 inch field monitor with a 1920 by 1200 full HD display. It supports both HDMI 2.0, 4K at 60 Hertz, and 3G SDI. Brightness level of 600 CD and contrast ratio of 1100 to 1. It supports a variety of log formats like S-Log, S-Log 3, C-Log, J-Log, V-Log, N-Log, and also supports 3D LUTs. You can load LUTs to this monitor. In the box, you get a sunshade, a USB to micro adapter, an HDMI cable, a 12 volt power supply, a ball head mount, and it runs off two different types of batteries, so it comes with two battery plates. Alright guys, let's take a look around uh, the monitor. I'll just kind of show you around here. On the back, we have the HDMI in, HDMI output. So you can do like loop through recording if you wanted to. SDI in, SDI, SDI out. They just have these plastic caps over them, but I don't use SDI. But if you do, it's got them. Um, so it comes with two battery plates. I use the NPF batteries. So that's the plate I put in, it just slides in. Then you can lock the plate into place and go ahead and put it on the battery. No batteries are included, but it does come with a uh, 12 volt plug. So you don't need batteries if you can plug it into the wall. 12 volt DC right there. Also has a place to hook up a pair of headphones. It does have a built-in speaker right there and right there. Um, quarter 20. For the bottom, here's gonna be where you're gonna load your LUTs, your 3D LUTs, if you want to add LUTs onto the monitor. And let's see here. On the top, you got your power button, menu button. This is what you go through the menus with. And then we have the exit and FN button, which is basically a shortcut button. Uh, monitor is pretty lightweight. It is made of plastic uh, without the battery big old battery on there. You can get smaller batteries of the NPF batteries too, but this is one of the bigger ones they make. This thing will run a long, long time. Um, and it also comes with this silicon, silicone little kind of protector, which uh, protects the corners or whatnot. And then it also comes with a sunshade that you would Velcro around there. So, yeah, uh, turn it on, just hit the power button. This thing has a ton of built-in features. Um, you've got, you know, different waveforms, your vector, um, just a whole bunch of um, different features built into this thing. It does come with the HDMI cord, but it's HDMI to micro. So my camera takes a full HDMI cord. So yeah, this is what it's gonna look like. It's got a pretty decent display on it. And I'll just go through the menus. I'm not gonna talk about every single thing, but I'll just kind of show you what's on there and how to navigate through them. So you just hit menu, it'll bring up this screen. Then these arrow buttons you would use to scroll through the different menus. Like that. 
And then if you want to select one of these menus, you just hit the menu button. And from there you can go through um, waveforms, vector, peaking, peaking level, false color. And to turn one of them on, you would just hit um, the menu button and then switch it to on. And you can go through those as well. So they also do have like a multi. I don't know if you'd be interested. Here I'll hit back. Oops. Go down. And we can turn like full mode. We'll turn that to on. So you can make your waveforms really big. And also go back and we'll check out the waveforms. And you can put it multi so you can see all of them at once. Um, same thing with your audio meters. You can turn the audio meters on or you can just have whatever is on your camera go full screen basically 